Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by hdesigntutorials.com. In this tutorial, we will see together how to transform photo into digital painting in Adobe Photoshop. So let's go ahead and start our tutorial. While the photo layer is selected, the first thing I will do is tapping Ctrl plus J to duplicate the photo layer. Then let's go to Filter menu and choose Filter Gallery. In the Filter Gallery, under the Artistic Filters, let's select the Poster Edges filter. Then let's set the Posterization to 4. Set the Edge Thickness to 10. And set Edge Intensity to 5. Then click on OK to apply the filter. Now let's go to Image menu adjustments and select threshold i will decrease the threshold level until i can see clearly the details of the face then i'll click on ok to apply the adjustments now i'll go to filter menu and choose the oil paint filter in the oil paint filter i will set the shine of reflections to zero then set the stylization to 10, the cleanliness to 10, set the scale to 0, and the bristle detail to 10, then click OK to apply the filter. Great, now we have a smooth sketch. So let's now bring our sketch layer to the bottom, then change the blending mode of the original image into color. Now we can flatten the image, then double click the layer again to activate it. Now let's tap Ctrl plus J on the keyboard again to duplicate the layer. Then let's change the mode for the upper layer to multiply. And let's reduce its opacity half the way down to 48 for example. Now let's select the sponge tool, but let's first flatten the image again, and then make sure the sponge tool mode is set to saturate. Now I will start clicking on the eye lenses to give them a little bit more color, and also I will click on the lips to do the same thing. Now I'll go to Image menu, Adjustments, then choose Brightness and Contrast. Then let's decrease the brightness a little bit. Let's tap Ctrl plus J to duplicate the layer again. Then let's go to Filter menu and select Filter Gallery. And from the Artistic Filters again, Let's select the Cutout Filter. Then set the number of levels to 8. Set the Edge Simplicity to 8. And Edge Fidelity to 3. Then click OK to apply the filter. Great, now let's go to Image Menu, Adjustments and select Photo Filter. In the Photo Filter window, make sure Color is selected and Preserve Luminosity is unchecked. Then let's increase the density a little bit as shown. Great, now in the final step, I'll use the Eraser tool to remove the areas that are hiding the face from the upper layer and to clean out the background. Finally, this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed watching this video tutorial. 
Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.